Well, hello. Welcome to another episode, Making the Game Song Bringer. This is Wizard Fu. You're watching me program and make music, make art for this game. Songbringer is already complete. It's out on Steam, PlayStation, Xbox. Uh, but I'm finishing up some final things with this major update. You could almost consider it an expansion. It's a free update coming to Songbringer, all platforms. And, um, and yeah, the next thing after that is going to be uh, finishing the soundtrack, doing the iOS version, and then Songbringer will be complete for, for real. It'll be like complete twice. It's like having dinner two, two times in one night. So awesome. And then I'll be working on the next game. So anyways, let's dive right into today's tasks, today's work, today's creative joy. I love what I do. Um, I have just been working on something where um, the list of foes, the mobs, um, can be replaced at runtime depending on your items. Um, I've just taken some pains to make sure that all of the mobs are still completely accurate as to how they were um, with the version before I made all these changes to replacing mobs. So nothing has changed except that it replaces some specific mobs with precision. So check this out. When um, the player has, let's, let's take a look at the little predicate here first, uh, advanced. Overworld Advance. This one happens um, if the player has the first life container, then it will look for a dead end. That's what this is right here. And replace whatever foes were there with two of these kind of difficult fire vipers. And then also give it the reward item flag so that you get a nice reward for beating them. There's another one here also for some Razubs and some Razwarps. So basically it's just, it throws in some dead ends onto the overworlds. A couple more interesting foe patterns so it makes the overworld a little bit more lively that happens with the core game and um, let's look at how that actually got replaced at runtime um, so after it creates the world it creates the world exactly as it always had in the past and then at runtime it goes and replaces depending on your items and because you had a life container one it went and instead of having some just a boring old crash use two pattern it used that advanced overworld Instead of a boring fat 2 pattern, it used the overall advanced 2 pattern. So, and then I'm now working on some dungeon specific ones. So, this one works a little bit differently. This one, or these kinds, uh, work with a specific replace key. So, this, this particular one called Viper 2 only replaces um, Viper 1 pattern. And it only happens if you have the Ring of Difficulty. So, check it out. Here's this Viper 1 pattern. And um, it placed it, you know, depending on the Z level and the style car and the difficulty, and it only placed one per dungeon. Put in some vipers. Now, if you have the ring of difficulty, though, those vipers become viper fires, which are more difficult to beat. Um, one last little thing I need to make sure these viper fires have uh, appropriate hit points or variable hit points depending on where they are in the world. So if you're like in dungeon eight, they're gonna have more health. I can't remember if I did that or not. What do we do here? Health, oh, good, good, good. All right, they do have more hit points. Damage maybe? Oh, the ring of, di oh, the ring of difficulty already increases their damage. But no, the damage is not variable. But is there attack component? No, the attack component's not variable either. But I think that is actually probably appropriate anyway. So they just have a little bit more health depending on what dungeon they're in. That's cool. All right, I wanted to check that. That's done. Um, okay, let's do another pattern. Um, I want to try... Okay, I'm, I'm itching to add in some of these... Um, um, acid dragons. But acid dragons can only be in certain places. They're right where Shivex would be. So how does a Shivex?
Oh, Civic changes the pattern to a diamond. Okay. So let's do an advanced Civic pattern. So it replaces Civic 1. And um, it still has a Civic spawner. What's up, Sweet Beans TV? What's happening? I'm working on some advanced faux patterns. If you have this cursed ring item, it will actually create some mobs of enemies that are more difficult. And we'll add in a viper fire. How are you doing today? Sweet beans. No, not viper fire. We want some acid dragons, man. Give me some of them acid dragons. Let's do like Two to, two to four of those, depending on how difficult this area is and whatnot. Okay, so let's check that out, see if it worked. Also, I do need to go and verify all the positions where it did change the Viper 1s. Check this out. Because it's data only, I didn't have to recompile the game. Bam! I love that. Okay, so this is kind of, I don't really need to test visually just yet. I want to focus on this here. Viper 1, Viper 1. Shivek 1, there's one. Is that the only one in the whole game? Thanks, man. Appreciate the compliment. I got, I got a close trim beard right now. I used to have a, a long beard. I was quite embarrassed by my long beard because it never got below a certain level. Like for an entire year, it never got beneath like about here. So I felt like I was unable to grow a beard. So it made me feel, made me feel vulnerable having a beard at that point. Oh, hey, here's one too. Shivek. A couple more. Cool. These get replaced. All right, so let's take a look at some of these patterns. Let's make sure these are all looking good and they're in appropriate places. They're not, um, they should be all right because they're replacing specific patterns that already we've proven that are in good places, but let's just make sure. So we, I checked 150 and 750. These are the overworld advanced patterns. Let's check out 141 to start with. Oh, right, this is right at the very beginning of the first dungeon. Okay, so it doesn't look like this pattern is working because it doesn't have any open area. So that's simply an issue. So we could make the diamond pattern smarter depending on to try and add is these guys because you have to change the, the area. Okay, so we would need, let's, hmm. Okay, it's not too tricky. It's not that bad. Um, there's a function where it where it goes replace. Um, rest oh, restore. Restore adjacent tiles. There it is. Or restore tiles. Restore tile data. There it is. Restore tile data basically can change an area's blocks and tile information depending on items. 
like we're storing a toggle say, or storing, storing boss patterns. Here's a special case. So if we have pattern diamond, pretty sure that's an existing word. I don't know why I just didn't come up with the autocomplete. Turn diamond, yeah, there it is. Flood! Ahoy, my friend. How art thou? So we need to mimic the existing diamond pattern. But create like a square instead of a diamond, I think. Great. Sweet, man. How's, uh, how's, how's the adventure going with your company and your business and all that? So there's pattern diamond. It gets this like random value. Yeah, yeah, right there. And then it gets its, oh, there's the radius, okay. And there's the center. It's got some crazy split information too. <sighs> oh, Shivek always becomes sky, that's good to know. And split always equals zero. Oh, okay, so this is an easier than I thought. So we want to do pattern diamond, but only if it has the name Shivek. Wow, that's awesome. You guys have a company in Maryland now. Great, man. Congratulations. That's a big step, yeah? Expanding your business internationally? So we need a radius variable, but other than that, we just need to draw a rectangle instead of a diamond. And that will make this able to have um, some room for these acid dragons. Comment this out. Make room for acid dragons by changing diamond to rectangle. And your product subsidized by 10 states? Woo, right on, man. <laughs> Congratulations, that is great news to hear. I have been really well. The, go the game is going great. Um, sales have been uh, successful. Like, I'm, I'm thankful that you know, Songbringer is a success. Um, and now I'm working on um, the update. So there's this, this update with a lot of new content. It's almost practically an expansion with how much new content it is, but it's a free update. And uh, almost finished with that. And then um, Double Eleven, my publisher, will be helping me put that also on the console version so the PlayStation version and the Xbox version will get it, all this new content as well. And, um, and then I'm going to be finishing up the soundtrack and also doing the iOS version as promised during the Kickstarter. But then Songbringer will be finished. And so I'm imagining by like, you know, it'll probably be June by the time all that stuff is done. April, May, June, something like that. So it's going to be half of this year will be spent finishing Songbringer. But then it'll be on to the next game. So I'm pretty excited to see what happens next. I got some ideas, but I'm not quite sure. They're all kind of like just marinating ideas at this point. 
life's exciting, man. Um, I've been through a lot of changes though. Um, uh, most notably, I broke up with my girlfriend. Well, we broke up. It was a mutual thing. Um, and so, well, not my girlfriend. She's my fiance. Damn it. Yeah, it was a big deal. It was very painful. But now it's starting to become one of the best things that ever happened to me. I'm learning lessons about myself. I'm growing so much. And I'm really, really learning a lot about um, just, I don't know, who I am, where I want to go, what I want in the next relationship, stuff like that. So yeah, big life changes, but, um, but yeah, everything's good. Thanks, man. Yeah. And thank you for your support. Thank you for everyone's support. Kick Kickstarter backers, you, all you people that have viewed on the, on the streams and watched the YouTube videos and all that. I appreciate all of your support so much. Yeah, it's a tough market right now. The, t the market's really crazy tough, but um, but even to have a, a, a barely a success in a, in a market a market this tough is like it's a good sign. Yes, it's true. Every time a door closes, another opens up. So true, my friend. Thank you, man. I appreciate the encouragement. All right, let's draw a rectangle. Area pause. From the center, we want it to be W2. And then we need to incorporate the, the radius somehow. Let's just do the radius with however it is now. Plus radius, W2, oh, minus radius, sorry. Plus radius. Oh yeah. Well, um, if I were you, I would wait until, um, like either, pl either, either update and play the beta version as it is right now, which has all the new content or just wait, like, I don't know. It might be like a month before it all gets finished and stuff, but yeah, so you need to, so either, yeah, whatever you want to do, but I would wait to play this, all this new content. Because the the uh, the official version right now has all of this content locked away, sort of. It's not like it's not you won't get any of this new these new items. But if you play the beta version, it's all there. So you just have to like choose the beta version on your Steam client. H two plus one minus radius. Where's that minus one? Oh yeah, how is she? She'll be one this week. Yeah, I can imagine that's, gosh, that first year of having a child, I, I haven't had a child yet myself, I'd love to, but I can imagine that's, a, that's gonna be a busy year, especially if you have a lot going on with your business too. But um, yeah, is everything, how is everything with her? How is she? Okay, so there, we're drawing a rectangle if the player has the... Wait, did we check for the ring? Oh yeah, here. We need to check this. If the player has the ring, and this is a patterned diamond, and it has a shivek. Actually, we could change this to acid dragon. Let's see if that works. Yeah, you're in love with her. She's smart as hell and playful. <laughs> she thinks she'd be a comedian. Cool, man. Yeah. Uh, it warms my heart to hear that.
Okay, it didn't work. I wonder if it even replaced the... Oh, do I have the ring? I have the ring. Did it... It should have replaced this pattern. Yeah, replacing 141 Shibak with Shibak 2 as a spawner and some acid dragon. Acid dragon? Did I do dragon acid? Oh, is, it might be dragon acid. I think it is dragon acid. Yeah, that's what it is. That's the problem. What's up, Bilal? Howdy. Okay, so that's the error. It's got to be dragon acid and dragon acid. All right, man. Still work cool. Oh uh, yes, I am. Uh, uh, I'm actually in Thailand right now. So yeah, just the the whole thing with the relationship and stuff like that. I'm kind of like have left my home country to live here for a while and just rebuild my life, rebuild my confidence and emotions and all that. So yeah, I'm in Thailand. It's so uh, that's why it's light out, and uh, that's why my internet is sometimes crazy good and sometimes crazy fast. It's super random. But it was good chatting with you, man. Okay, this time Hopefully we got some dragon acids here, and we, it becomes a rectangle instead of a diamond for this sky. Damn it! Uh, this is pattern diamond, right? Yeah, it's pattern diamond. Oh hey, there's those dragon acids. Oh. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Cheers. Have a good work day, man. We'll see ya. Or work night, whatever it is for you. Okay, let's see if it's even getting into this bit of code. Oh, this is where it restores tile data. It should be, it should be doing it here. I had to pick the start, the hard one to start with, huh? The most difficult thing. And a, a mob pattern that has to change the ground. Oh, did it hit the breakpoint? What? Did it? No. What's going on here? Oh, oh, it did not hit the breakpoint. Okay. Well, there you go. That's probably why. I wonder if maybe it's because it hasn't replaced the enemies yet.
Nice. That was it. It looks like it hasn't replaced the enemies yet. And that makes sense because we're loading the game here, restoring tiles there, and then afterwards it's replacing the foes. Okay, that was the issue. Okay, so we can take away that breakpoint. And this should have a rectangular ground now. Yay! Okay, it was supposed to be minus one. And yes, there was enough room to get these acid dragons in here. Yeah! Oh, I'm stoked that, that worked. And it even had the right radius. Cool. Let's drop out of Xcode because it's slowing us down. Vim is so fast. So fast. Okay, so these are supposed to be both minus one. And that's it, really. Patterns to make sure they didn't they don't break anything else and that's weird. This guy has I think they need to be a little shorter so they don't like see how this, his tail is extending above stuff because of the way the Z ordering has to work for these guys. Okay, let's make his tail a little shorter. Sprites shadow or is it no shadow? Why did I make that distinction ever? Um, no shadow dragon. Nope, it must be shadow dragon acid. There we go. I probably should take a screenshot and see. If about how many pixels it is it needs to be shorter by. Okay, I'm just getting a little proximate rectangle going. Doesn't have to be too accurate. And then resize it down to about 420 wide. That's gonna be 237 tall, that's about right. And how many pixels approximately we need to shave off? Like about I think this thing, yeah, that is its bottom, yeah? This is a pass-through mask. So if we select the amount of pixels that we need, we need to go down to about there. 
everything below that needs to be invisible. Oh, first let's start with white and we select what we need. Okay, so I'm gonna use a gradient going to let's do black to white and hold down shift to make sure it's like that. There we go. And then the other there. Okay, and then we can actually just copy this mask and apply it to all the other dragons animations here. Oh, did we put that in the right place? It might be the wrong folder, let's see. Oh, too slow. Yeah, I was going to put it in bosses. We want that to be... Um, let's see, here's the question. Is it no shadow? Nope, it's shadow. Even though I think these guys don't have shadows. But well, let's just choose this. Let's do this boldly. Yes, good. It's replacing. Great. All right. Same thing for all these. Holding down option to select this and then pasting in a new special mask and then just building it. Well, this is, a, this is a shortcut right there that I've written with a utility called a hammer spoon. If you're paying attention, I use a lot of these hammer spoon. I, I have this app called Hammer Spoon, which basically enables me to remap a key combo or even just a key to pretty much anything, any kind of script. Only downside is you have to use Lua to script your stuff, but other than that, it's a pretty sweet tool. So anyways, Command B basically does a, runs a script where it hides the background layer, selects all the frames in the timeline, renders the video, accepts all the changes, re-enables the background, and then saves the file for me. So it's a lot of little steps I don't have to do with one handy little shortcut. Sweet. Okay, let's take a look at that. Oh, damn it. Right. Oh, you know what? I don't think it actually rebuilt the files, so sometimes Hammer Spoon needs to be reloaded for its, its file watcher thing because I haven't seen it do its touching the directory. Usually when you I build here, it will automatically say touching. There we go. Yeah, now it's touching. Okay. And now it's rebuilding. Cool.
nice pattern actually to have. Rather than it being a boring... Boring old just the Shivex. You got these acid dragons in there. But only if you have the ring. Why all of a sudden are none of them showing up on the bottom? I just, I just changed their art so that they would look okay. There's one! Thank you. Alright, that does look great. That looks really, really great. Much better than it was before. Okay, let's uh, verify a couple things about these dragons. Do they have a range of hit points? No. We want to make sure they do. And they've already got poison and stuff. Let's do a range of like 15 to 20. Actually, yeah. Oh, first, we need to start without and go check the arena to make sure we're not messing with the arena too much. Ooh, and um, it's easiest if I just change the arena waves. Comment out these waves. We can jump right into the wave with these. Oh, man. They have their own special pattern. Damn it. Um, I just want to check their hit points so that when if I change the... Does it... oh, that depends on your your strength. And the difficulty of the area. What's up, Z Zyuxis? I'm coding in C++. Um, if you mean the software I'm using, this is Vim. I'm just using the command line to use Vim and edit my files that way. Um, I build stuff with the command line um, Xcode build. So basically, um, it's super duper fast. And I'm really used to Vim, so I can, I can edit code a lot faster than I do in, I used to in Xcode. And I, of course, on Windows, I use uh, Visual Studio, but here you, nice, man. C-sharp, Java, cool. These are great languages to know. Very popular these days. Um, okay, so we need to test the arena, which means I need to be in the arena test the number of hit points you're getting. I also want to set a breakpoint, so damn, I need to open the Xcode again. It got, it got slower after version 9? It, start, it started getting slow in version 7. I noticed it. Like, every time you try and open the quick open, it's like every, time, every version the quick open got slower. It's supposed to be quick open, and they even touted. They were like, yeah, we made the quick open faster, but it was actually slower. Like, it was noticeably slower every time. <clears throat> Thank you, Zy <clears throat> Zyuxis. I don't know how, if I'm saying your name right. Definitely, Bilal. It pissed me off so much that I switched entirely from Xcode to Vim. Like, I overcame, overcame the learning curve of Vim just because of that. Oh, you're going to switch back to version 8? Cool. I heard there were some plugins you can get, right? That they're supposed to be faster, but they're like super hacky. You got to like go and hack Xcode and stuff. I don't know if those are really real or not. So I want to set a breakpoint when we're creating AI just to see what difficulty index it's actually using in creating these enemies so that. I can kind of have a rule of thumb here and not have to test this every time. Here it is, applying difficulty to max HP, if has ring. Set a breakpoint there. So the one time I have to use Xcode is when I'm debugging, but it's worth it. Because I do, I, Xcode's debugger is pretty badass. I like the debugger. It's especially good when you compare it to like GDB and having to debug via command line. 
Um, I even think it's, well, actually Visual Studio's debugger is pretty good too. Even though Visual Studio takes forever to start to start up an executable and attach all its debugging stuff and all, a lot of other things that make Visual Studio slow. Comparatively. Okay, so we I just want to check like what enemy is it creating? This is rock, we can just ignore that one. What enemy is this? Bell, we can ignore that. Now we're, here we go, Razab. So we need max HP, 2.5, increase it based on having the ring. Oh, but where's the difficulty at? That's really what I want to know. Intelligence, difficulty, oh, again, that's, that's, that's float random. Okay, so intelligence is one because we have the ring. Difficulty is 0.56. Why is, why, where are we getting that difficulty factor from? Okay, I actually wanted to set a breakpoint there. I really don't need to do this. I could just, I could just wing it. But I think it's important to make sure that I'm not really changing the arena too much. Because the arena fight is, is already dialed in, it's already balanced. I don't want to change the hit points for the, the acid dragons too much um, and break the balance of the arena. Okay, so here we go. This is where it's creating an AI. Was this Razub? Cool. Um, and difficulty, 0.56, we already had it, coming from create names, diff, it looks like I needed to back out one more function, where did we get diff from, oh yeah, this comes from, oh, does this come from the maze difficulty or something, oh, it comes from world get intelligence, Uh huh. Which is the maze difficulty or the dungeon difficulty? This is a maze. How come this? Ma oh, because this was the maze's difficulty is like po about point five six plus power though. So that does apply. Yeah, that does apply the um, the power of the player. Okay, I need to back out to where it does that, where it gets the intelligence when it's creating names. This is what I wanted to look at. These are some fundamental values which will help give me some rule of thumb here. So I don't make any changes that are too changey. Right, start with diff negative one. Power, the power of the player is 0.56. Oh, so the maze difficulty is maybe zero then? Maze diff. Zero, aha, uh -huh. that makes sense. And then the Z maze diff, because this is level Z zero. So the Z maze diff is also zero, and the Z dungeon diff is gonna be zero because it's not a dungeon. Aha, uh -huh. so this is entirely based on your power as a player. So if you have zero power, then the difficulty or the HP range. Okay, so this is easy. Basically, hmm, so basically that, that, if I change the range of hit points for the acid dragons, I was always fighting the acid dragons before and I know other players were fighting them before with almost maximum power, or at least half max power. That's probably a good, good way to split the difference, is to do half max power. So, all of that was just to determine this range of hit points that I want to set these acid dragons at. They, see, they always had a range, they, well, they had no range, they were just at 15 before, 
But power, you can estimate to be about 50%. So like a range of say 12 and a half to 17 and a half would be appropriate, or even 10 to 20 would probably be appropriate for these guys. So then you'd come into the arena and fight these guys and they would have about 15. Let's verify that With, instead of just assuming. I'm gonna go fight the arena until we can see the acid dragons, look at their hit points, and then I will um, change that range and make sure it's about the same. So all that to just not mess up the balance. I'm just speeding up time so we can get through all these waves. There's a lot of to go through. do you have okay 90 they have 90 right now now if I change this to 10 to 20 which is pretty big spread but I think it should be good that way if you're in dungeon 1 for example these guys are gonna have about 10 hit points and if you're in dungeon 9 these guys are gonna have about 20 and in the arena it depends entirely on your power level but hopefully they have about 15 to 20 depending on how strong you are which is based on how many items you have. Because that's the only way you grow in power in this game. back to this area now let's just see how much how many points these dragon assets have they should have like less than 90 they should have maybe 70 or something oh they also have 90 because my power levels up already okay, we can verify that too if I hadn't like almost no items, like if I just had the ring and the sword. Oh, I have a top hat. Why can't? Yeah, see now they have 60 hit points. Cool. Great, that makes, that makes complete sense. All right, now, what I haven't done yet is gone and looked at all the other patterns that are getting replaced. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna look at all the other patterns that are getting replaced with this new Shivek pattern, if you have the ring. There's, okay, so there's Shivek one, Viper, 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 Shivek one. This is at 426. So one thing to make sure here is that um, like this change we made with the floor changing a bit doesn't really affect, oh, we shouldn't be, oh man. That worked? Holy crap. See, yeah, this did this did change the walls a bit. Because before it had a diamond pattern. Hmm. So only have 
happens if you have the ring, though? So you should assume that if you have the ring... See, no, we can't, we can't just change. Gosh, this might, I might be, have to not allow this for these sandy areas. Or, as, well, that's not, there's two issues there. There's the sandy issue, and then there's the size issue of the, of the, oh my god. Hey there. So, uh. I think we need to do a radius one bigger. Where it sets it all to none. Oh man, that's super dangerous. Okay, we can do it like this though, where it only sets it to none if it's a wall. So that should push the walls back a bit. That's not working at all. What the heck? That's not confusing at all. What? W2 minus radius. Oh, this is minus one. W2 plus plus H2 minus minus arrow. Okay, so yeah, maybe this will work now with the uh, K-Tau wall. Yay! Okay, now we got a good. And somehow these, oh, these are. These had, oh, because it's that's not a wall. Okay, that makes that's good. See now the player can have blink and get past these. And I guess we can ignore the fact that it's sky. And most other things aren't. Because really the only thing that's weird is that the shibek is just coming out of nowhere. Because the drag, the dragons look good, but the shibeks look kind of a little bit weird. Just suddenly appear, but I guess that doesn't make too much, it's not too visually confusing. So we can leave that as it is. I'm happy with that now. Let's test out a few more areas. That was 426. There's 137. One thing to verify with it is, okay, let's just turn on and off the ring 
So without the ring, this will be how it, what is so slow? Without the ring, it should be as it was. And the, let's look at making sure the diamond shape is about the same size as the rectangle shape. So the diamond width is coming to like one before those um, sconces, and then it's one below the main, uh, of that stuff. And oh, oh, I guess this could mess up some areas. Mess up some areas, that great. Oh, that wait, wait, why is there a dragon? Is there a dragon? There's no ring. Huh? Why is it replacing? Did I mess this up with the pose? Oh, I forgot the has. Has ring of difficulty. Which is getting super annoying to type out. I think I'm just gonna change this to just ring and not ring of difficulty. Okay, that was a good thing to verify. So now we should have no more dragon. Good, we just have the ship X. Okay, and let's verify that width and height of the rectangle. Turn the ring back on. Yes, good, it's coming right one below there and one just to the side of the, yeah, this looks like pretty good. So the one thing I'm kind of worried about is maybe the width of this rectangle could get so wide that it covers up some gate tiles, but it's unlikely. And besides, this is only if you have the ring of difficulty, which is a super advanced item that you have to beat the game to get. So I'm not worried this is breaking the game for anyone because anybody that's beat this game already already has a really good idea how to get past a lot of obstacles. And there's always the blink level two, which will get you past anything. Blink level one, or, yeah, blink level two and three can get you past a lot. And this is water, so water is easily frozen and gotten past too. Okay, that looks good. Let's um, let's verify that that area we were just in before. Four two six. One more time, with and without the ring. With the ring. Yeah, okay, that's, once again, it looks nice and centered, and we are using the right radius value. Okay, these guys were already kind of like warping it out of nothing anyways. I almost feel too bad now. It's actually kind of nice to put some regular sky up in here. Okay, let's see what else. We just tested four, two, six, and one, three, seven. There's another Viper and another Viper, and that's it. That's all there is in this world. I should probably verify a few more worlds, but I think I'm gonna check this in so far. Actually, no, I should check out another world before I check it in. Okay, let's just do one more world. Do. Cookie, that 
one seemed to break my last world, so let's try the World Seed Cookie with the Ring of Difficulty, see what kind of Shiv X we can replace, and maybe there's some pattern which has some issue which we can solve before checking this code in. Starting foe replacement, Shivek 1, is it 241? Let's get all these laid out. There's 213. 234. There's a lot of synchronicity in these numbers. 516. Four six seven, good. There's a lot of these. Four one eight. Plenty of tests in this world. Okay, let's do without the ring. I don't really need to do without and with the ring anymore. I mean, it's hard, do I? I don't know. Oh, that's a pretty wide radius. Dang. So with the ring. Yeah, look at that, that's huge. But still doable. Oh, you know what? It'd be nice if this foe pattern was one to four dragons. Because at level one, you really only want like one of these dragons showing up. What dungeon was this though? This is, uh, it doesn't say. One. Okay, he did two of them. Oh, maybe because of my power level. Okay, that, that's, that looks alright. Nothing wrong with that. Let's go to the next area. This one's okay. It's not like this rectangle is imposing. Two, three, four. Oh, look at that. This rectangle is almost imposing, but if you have blink, you can easily get past that little corner. You know what? I guess it doesn't need to be as tall. Be good but if, instead of him maybe even not as not as um not as low either but let's just do tall to start with
This might break the the balance, the sense of balance though. Visual balance. Oh, that looks alright. But going back to one four one in World Seed Wizard. Uh, that looks okay too. Yeah, I think it's a little bit safer to just reduce the height by one. Also, World Z Wizards 426. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Alright, back to two, three, four here. fine. Oh, oh, it had a little notch at the top because of the, of the diamond pattern. It's kind of cool, actually. Okay, this is exactly what I was talking about, about the gates possibly getting overwritten, and it looks like this is okay. It didn't hurt this gate here at all. That's a good thing to verify. This is a dark room. This is a really interesting room to be checking. Yeah. Wow. I like it. Check it out. You can only get past this, like, level one blink. Level two blink. Or going around. So, yep. Good thing it's an advanced item. I'll allow it. Do one commit with the graphics. Oops.
Okay, it's actually a pretty simple and short bit of code. It took a lot of testing to do. And the really difficult part of all of this was that, just that one little replace predicate. And the other kind of thing with the has ring of difficulty, that took a, two days to get all straight. But now that that's all straight and confirmed and making sure the worlds are all perfectly the same, it's now easy to go ahead and change a pattern with precision if a player does have an item. So that's super cool. So we now have another advanced flow pattern. Okay. Well, that's all I had planned for today's video. It's about time for me to get some food in my belly. So I thank you all for watching this humble video about programming and stuff. And um, yeah, we'll catch you all on the next video. It's been good to be doing some more consistent videos lately. Getting back in the flow of doing videos a lot more often. So and streams. So once again, I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.